All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Wonderful to see you today. I love seeing all these great names that I'm familiar with in the chat and that everybody's taking some time to join us today. Um, this is such a fun topic to me. We're doing some really, trying to think really innovatively around the workforce issue here at NHSA. And um, this is one of the ways we're doing that. So you all are can pat yourselves on the back today because you are really ahead of the curve on all of this. What we are trying to do here is um, truly cutting edge in the early childhood field. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it. I also have a really um, great colleague, Tasha uh, Scord is here with me to help support you. And hopefully by the time you leave, my goal is that you understand what we're doing how you can jump into it, and then what you can do to get your staff on board and really move Head Start forward as a whole um, in this space. I am Debbie Bergeron. I am the Deputy Director of Community Engagement Innovation here at NHSA. Some of you know me as Dr. B. And I am always thrilled to be with you, learning and growing and figuring out what we can do next. And that's what we're doing here today. Um, so you all may or may not know that upon my arrival here at NHSA almost two years ago, um, I lifted the academy, which is really aimed at providing professional learning to uh, that's affordable, that's accessible, that pushes the field forward, that gives you all the tools you need to support your staff, to um, be attractive to new staff and to hold on and retain new staff. And that's going really well. Um, but as I was doing my homework on um, what it means to be a professional in 20, at the time, 22, now 2023, I came across this idea, uh, this, this tool that does digital badging. Now, if I say digital badging, that's not particularly cutting edge. You all, badges are used in a number of different settings. So that's um, something that is coming along pretty quickly. You may even have your own badging that is associated with things outside of work. Maybe your fitness club does badging when you can do so many things and whatever. So that part of it is very common and mainstream. But in the professional space, um, especially in the early childhood professional space, we are still kind of sitting in the PDF world. We go to trainings, we get a uh, uh, now hopefully an electronic certificate emailed to us and we maybe have a file on our desktop. We save all of our PDFs and then maybe we turn them in. Um, as a program, you require teachers to do this. Um, and I, the world is moving in a completely different direction. Um, and I think ECE isn't really on this train yet, but I am determined to get Head Start ahead of this before it becomes the norm and the requirement. Um, but the idea of a digital portfolio is something I learned about last year at a technology conference. And I said, I need to bring this to the Head Start world. NHSA needs to embrace this so that all of you can bring digital badging to your program so that you, you're going to do two things here. And Tosh is going to talk in depth about this. The first is you're going to become... Um, more adept and simplify your HR process. Anytime we can, you know, take something from paper to digital, we're gonna make things a little bit simpler. I mean, you all can remember, I'm sure, Head Start folks have been around a while. I know I can remember going to a training, getting a piece of paper, and then having to put it on a scanner and, or, or worse, put it in an envelope with a stamp and mail it to get credit, right? We did these things. I remember my folder I used to keep in my um, in my desk drawer that had all my PD that added up my points for my recertification. And then we made a big leap into electronic certificates, but still that's just an analog version of something on paper. Easier, but not digital. The digital badging um, not only simplifies the HR part, but it is going to take the professionalism of your staff to the next level because digital badging without getting too in depth on the tech is blockchain based. And what that means is that it is 100% secure, number one, so it cannot be altered. 
it is also owned by the professional him or herself and it's portable. So it creates a professional portfolio for your staff where you're communicating to them, hey, you matter to me, your future matters to me. And because of that, I'm going to help you build your professional portfolio. And with that, you can do all of the training that I bring to you as a director. You can put all the training that NHSA brings to you or that you go to down the street at a community college or some other organization. And it's communicating to that professional that you care about their future, that you are helping them to become more um, sophisticated in the way that they treat themselves. And this will be part of your retention plan overall because people stay where they are respected and where they are supported. So that is my thinking about all of this. Um, I also just wanna note that because my brain is always thinking about how do I make this easier, I am also working with Tasha and the folks at Accord to bring your program, this is a little advanced here, this is like the 2.0 thing, but I wanna mention it, to bring your program, what we call a sub-account, so that your program can have its own account that's like a sub-account of NHSA, which makes it way less expensive for you, and you can start to create your own digital badges locally at your program. Maybe you do a special training that is required by Texas or something like that. We're not going to do that training at NHSA. And you do it locally at your pre-con, at your, I mean, your pre, pre-service. You create the digital badge. The people who come get that. It's added to their portfolio and it has your logo on it and all those cool things. So we're trying to empower you as a program as well. So this is about empowering staff. It's about empowering programs. Courtney's going to put a link in the chat. If the last part of what I talked about, the idea of you having a sub account is appealing to you at some point during this training, fill that out. This is very new. I'm only at the very beginning pilot stages of it, but I want to definitely keep in touch with people who are thinking, no, I definitely want to be up in, in the front edge of this because we'll work together to figure out how to make it happen. Um, so Without further delay, I want to introduce you to Tasha. She is a wonderful, wonderful connector to Accord for me. And she manages about 80 accounts. She makes sure that they are, you know, solid partners. I really think of Accord not as a vendor, but as a partner of ours, because what they are helping to do is to really enrich our programs and our membership. Um, so what I've asked her to do today is to come here and lead you through a training so that you can see how this works, why you would bother using it, <clears throat> and then to show you how to make sure you have your very own portfolio before you leave. And just as a reminder, this is a free service that NHSA has brought to its membership. The actual use of the digital portfolio costs you nothing. We are footing that bill for you because I think it's just so important that you are empowered in this way and that your staff are. And, and I got buy-in from leadership on that. So we were able to launch this for you. So I'm going to turn it over now to Tasha and let her take most of the meeting. I'm going to keep an eye on the chat. If you have questions as she's talking, just type them in there. I'll keep track of them. I'll stop her if it makes sense to stop her. Otherwise, we'll do, the, do them at the end. And um, uh, and we'll make sure that we get any questions answered that you have. All right, Tasha, I'm going to mute myself and let you take it away. Thank you for introducing me. Hi, guys. My name is Tasha. I am an account manager here at Accredible, just like Dr. B said. I manage about actually over 80 accounts now. Um, and so my goal is to make sure that your guys' programs are growing um, especially because, you know, we value our partnerships, especially with NHSA, um, just seeing how they grow and how they, um, you know, value their, their members. Um, just jumping into it, just so we can talk about what Accredible is all about. Let me jump into my deck. Hopefully you guys are seeing my first desktop here. Um, perfect. So Accredible became about in about uh, 2013. So it, beca it began because we wanted credentials to be something more than a piece of paper. And this is, when I say credential, this is a badge or a certificate. Um, 
But basically, we want it to be more than a piece of paper you forget in your drawer or on your wall or even a PDF that gets lost on your desktop. Our philosophy is we want credentials to, you know, they should empower individuals to celebrate their achievements by sharing them in the world in real time. Uh, we also wanted to make sure we're helping organizations celebrate alongside their learners or, or members while also growing their program's reach, right? So um, uh, definitely a marketing value there. Uh, we do that by making sure our software is as user-friendly and seamless as possible. Um, aside from the statistics that you'll see on screen here, uh, we issue about 500,000 credentials per week, uh, which wouldn't be made possible without these organizations down below us, um, you know, that, you know, are, are interesting, uh, int you know, putting their trust in us. Um, with that, you know, with Incredible, the possibilities are endless as we provide solutions to most use cases. So some use us for educational purposes, such as degrees and certifications, while others use us to provide recognition or awards for attendance. Um, we've also seen our credentials be used for memberships. With that, you'll see like um, our because they're digital credentials, we have a digital wallet. And so some people even use us for badge access. Um, so like I said, the possibilities are definitely endless when it comes to digital credentials, especially with Incredible. How digital credentials come about is um, what you would do is you set up a, we call them groups just because not everyone's using this for courses or certifications. Some are just using it for memberships. So once a candidate enrolls in you know, a membership or a course on your platform, um, the next thing would that be that once they have obtained the membership or certification, whatever it may be, they get a secured link. And so this link is unique to their specific credential. Um, which they'll receive in their email. When they click in, they'll be able to instantly view the credential, download it, print it, share it how, how you know they want. And what's great about this is I'm not sure if you guys have you know downloaded a, another app or whatever it may be where they you know before you can access it, you need to put in all your information and create an account. Well, we make sure that you are able to access that credential without even needing to create an account, um, you know, to be able to see it. With that, they're able to instantly share it too. Um, instantly share it on, you know, whether it be LinkedIn, which is what a lot of people are using for their professional portfolios. Um, you can send it, you can embed it into your email signatures or even on your own personal website. Um, once that's got, you know, on these social channels, what's great is like their audience is seeing what you guys are doing. So circling back to you guys, um, with these, they're able to just click in and see what you guys are offering as well. Before I hop into this, what I'll do is I'll actually show you guys what the, the credible dashboard looks like, um, as well as what steps you would take to, you know, create your groups, um, as well as the design aspect of things, and then also what it looks like for the recipient who receives the, the email. Let me share my Next screen here. All right, so NHSA has given me um, the ability to showcase their dashboard. So this is what it looks like when you first sign in. You do get like a basic issuance report and recipient engagement off the bat. The first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to create a design. So creating a design for your credentials. As you see, they've created different certificates, badges, What's great is it's as easy as, you know, going in to create a badge design, you have template designs, you can utilize our templates. If you guys have an image, so, you know, most uh, programs or organizations, they have their own images that they need to upload their standards. You could definitely do that as well. Once a credential has been designed, what you would do next is create your group. So with here, you'd create a group. I'm gonna tackle down to the NHSA membership group here. Uh, once these groups are sent, you're able to start issuing credentials. How you would go about that is you would click in to create credentials. What's great is we have multiple forms that um, you, know, you can use into uploading your, your list of recipients. So you could do upload a spreadsheet. We have a spreadsheet template that you can utilize. Um, you can just create the credentials via form, which is what I'm going to do today. But what's also great is Accredible has many integrations with uh, native integrations with a lot of different platforms. So if you guys are utilizing 
Canvas or Moodle, Blackboard, whatever it may be, uh, we have an API doc for those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my name and I'm going to send myself an email. Credible.com. We're going to issue a date. I'm going to send, create a credential. So it has, it's unpublished because what it wants you to do is to make sure that you want to publish it. So this could be like fine tuning, whether it's the design attached to the group, uh, whatever it may be, but we would do review unpublished credentials and then we would go about publishing it. Perfect. So that will send off to my email. Perfect. Let me share my email screen so that you guys can see what that looks like. So I've see if you see I've gotten an email from NHSA and just with a click and what's great about this too is you have access to email templates. So you can customize this message however you guys would like. I would go into view my certificate. And as you'll see, a little custom pop up. But you'll see, I did not have to create an account with NHSA or even a credible to be able to view the credential. When it comes to the credential, this is the, the certificate, the certificate view. And you'll see down at the bottom here, you're able to see more of what NHSA offers. You can see if I wanted to add evidence to my, certif to my certification, I could definitely do so, skill tags. And what's great is I can instantly share with a click of a button, add to my LinkedIn profile, add it to Facebook, you name it. We have so many different social networks that you can choose from. So I'm gonna go back to my other screen here. I'm not gonna share it onto my LinkedIn because I'm not a member. So I wanna make sure I don't you know, falsely do that. But let me go into back to the dashboard. And so now you'll see if I were, if I, let's say if Laura were to receive, how Laura received this credential here, she was able to instantly share it to her LinkedIn. And what's great is if I click into this credential, it's going to reroute me to that credential, but also reroute me to what, you know, that organization is offering as well. So I could view all the credentials that they offer. And then back to the dashboard here. So now that it, the credential is out into the world, what happens next, right? Well, you're going to want to know what exactly is being done with that credential. And so that would bring us into our one, you could do, one, go to the credentials tab, see that it's been sent out. I can search. Whoops, that's not published. Perfect. And you'll see a status here. So instantly I can see that the credential has been published that the recipient has viewed it, has engaged with it, hasn't yet shared it to LinkedIn, and the credential is public, which you guys have that ability to set whether you guys want these to be public credentials or private. With this, I can actually generate a report of these credentials, which is great for you know, HR staff and such, just because as, as you guys are issuing these credentials, you guys wanna make sure that people are actually obtaining the credential. And so you can set, you can export a, a report that shows who's engaged with it, who hasn't engaged with it. You can reach out to those people and say, hey, you need to you know, accomplish this. You need to share it, whatever it may be, but you have that flexibility. What's also great is in this analytics tab here, you can see the engagement on a, on a bigger scale. So credential engagements here. Hopefully this loads with my Wi-Fi. <clears throat> but you'll be able to see open rates, share rates. You can even see the share breakdowns. So if a lot of people are just downloading PDF, you can see that. And might, this might be a way to get you know, insight onto what can we do better? Maybe we need to educate people on how to properly share.
Otherwise, that's pretty straightforward on how the dashboard is. You do have the ability to do collections. So if you guys wanted to do more than just a membership badge, let's say you guys wanted to do a, a full course, right? Um, I know that with HR courses, there's like, um, you know, the training on harassment or whatever it may be. You can group these into collections and make sure that they're completing, you know, one, two, and three before they actually get a full badge or a full certificate as well. You have that flexibility. Jumping back into my presentation. Perfect. So yeah, so what makes Decredible unique is one, you could do ultimate branding. So you could upload your logos, you know, and your white labeled web pages, not ours. We don't want to be the center of attention. We go out to stand back and let you guys be on the spotlight. Um, another thing is no account creation. So a lot of times other digital badge, uh, sort, you know, little digital badge vendors and stuff, they require that you create an account. We don't, we don't want that. Um, you know, we want you to be able to instantly see it. One is one click sharing, right? So being able to instantly share your credential and not having to jump through loops to, to be able to share it. Uh, another thing is with the analytics too, is you can see who's sharing the most. So we have influencer analytics, you know, viewing who is your top employee who is actually utilizing their digital portfolio and sharing the credentials that you guys are offering them. Um, and then same thing with like online certifications, just being a hosted online. So just moving away from the whole PDF versions and having everything at the, you know, at the palm of your hand. Um, and then also unbeatable API. So making sure that this goes seamlessly with your current workflows and systems with our integrations. And these are some of the, the integrations that we do that currently we do have a native integration with. If you don't see what you guys are currently have on here, we do have an API doc that can assist you guys with getting that set up as well. Otherwise, just to recap, you know, when it comes to creating an account, a lot of times 34% of people will abandon the online task. If it's asked to create an account, we're trying to avoid that with, you know, your recipients. And then some of the, the benefits when it comes to, you know, just to recap what the benefits are for a company is the reputational value. So, you know, yes, PDF is, was the thing, but now everyone's becoming to that modern technology of having things instant, being able to share, you know, share case, share their credentials in real time. Um, this is also going to help increase your brand exposure or your program exposure, right? If you guys want more people clicking in, um, we do see an uptick on brand visibility when people are share case, sharing their credentials. Um, and this is also just when it comes to improving interactions, right? Improving interactions with your, your employees, uh, making sure that they are obtaining their memberships or their certifications, whatever it may be, you have that flexibility of looking into the reporting inside of those. Um, but yes, a lot of benefits when it comes to the company. Uh, another thing is control, right? So you can easily manage the expiration, the, if you need to revoke something, right? If they no longer qualify, um, you have that ability instantly. Um, you can also send out, just like I said, if you guys are noticing people not interact with the credentials, you can always send out different content when it comes to the emails. And what's great is privacy too. So you have the ability to make sure if you guys want these credentials to be private and not out in the real world, you have that, that flexibility as well. And you'll also see the marketing value of it, right? So once your credentials are out in the real world, people, their audience specifically are going to interact with it. This post alone got 7,393 views, right? So with that, a lot of people are more likely to buy or engage with a specific brand or program just based on a social share. Um, this will maximize your brand exposure on the channels that are most important to your, you know, to your audience, harness their, their peer networks to get direct referrals to your program. And the biggest thing too is fraud prevention. So as you guys know, anybody can go online, grab a PDF copy of a certificate, put their name on it and send it on its way. I can probably find a Harvard one and say I went to Harvard, but with our credentials, it's all verifiable, right? The 
credential is verified, the issuer, the recipient, making sure that there's no fraudulent activity whatsoever. And Dr. B talked about it, the blockchain, which no one can tamper with blockchain credentials. And so the recipient as well as the issuer is safe when it comes to that. And what's great for your employees too is like the program and award value, right? So when our recipient ob obtains an award or a badge or a certificate, um, one, they, they get that issued quickly and accurately, but also they get that feel good factor of their achievement being recognized and the ability to share that online easily, you know, fits in with their social media lives. Um, furthermore, they can also enhance their credentials by adding evidence portfolios, such as coursework or documents or photos. Um, and an online certi certificate and badge wallet allows them to easily manage all their awards in one place and take it with them. So if they were needing to showcase it to, to you guys, you know, to someone in HR, like that, yes, I did obtain this. They can instantly just pull it up on their phone and just flash it to you guys. Um, and then recipients also appreciate that their awards cannot easily be counterfeited, right? So making sure that they're, it's legitimate. And we're also definitely, you know, SOC 2, uh, SOC 2 type 2 compliant as well. Um, what's great is we actually, the customer I love talking about when it comes to this is the International Association of Privacy Professionals. So this is an association that trains the world's leading data privacy experts. And so the level of security and compliance requirements uh, we've met to partner with this organization really sets the standard for our industry, just making, you know, we are fraud proof. Otherwise, you don't have to take it from me. We do have testimonials of you know some of our customers that you could definitely read up on. Um, otherwise, we you know we'd love to partner with with each and every one of you guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. If there are any questions, I'm not sure if there are. More than happy to answer them. So I actually wanted to start with um, what you just put put out there, just so everyone's aware. That is really the bat that we did this this particular webinar for leadership because we wanted you to understand the guts of what this is. Now, if we could pull back a minute, Tasha, and treat these folks like um, they are new to NHSA and getting their first invite to get their NHSA badge. Can you talk a little bit about what that looks like? And I would be really curious, just from us, maybe from the chat, if you have opened your own portfolio, everyone on this call, if you're an NHSA member, you've gotten an invitation to get your portfolio. If you've opened it and, you know, established your, your portfolio with your NHSA badge, or maybe one from a conference or something like that, can you just put in the chat that you've done that? So I can get a sense of the 50 people here. Um, how many of you are already in touch with this? Um, yay, Chris. Good job. I, uh, I, because what I'd love Tasha to talk about is how you all can get your portfolio started because once you do it, then you're going to be able to transfer this to your staff a lot easier. And I do want to make a point. So Tasha and I are in two different worlds, right? She's in the tech world and I'm over here with the association. It's wonderful that, um, a, that a credible didn't require, doesn't require, um, setup of accounts because it does make everything more accessible. But I am going to encourage everyone to set up their NHSA account because when you do that, what you're going to do is help your staff have a home for all of these things. So you, what we're trying to do at NHSA is to create kind of a digital home, this digital portfolio, so that as long as you're with Head Start, you feel like everything um, you have this, this feeling of being part of the Head Start family. And for us, we know that's really important. So despite the fact that you don't have to do that, which I think is still really good from a long-term standpoint, we would love for everybody to set up an account. So Tasha, you want to talk about what they should have gotten from us and how they would set it up? Yeah, definitely. So when it comes to the setup aspect of it, so just like how I received my certificate, um, it's as easy as just setting a password, just going in, it pull, it'll pull up your information, your username, you can, which you can edit. And then it's as easy as setting up a password. And then they, if they're NHSA members, we sent an email blast right out to every member, everybody on our roster that says, welcome to the digital portfolio. 
And so all they need to do is click on that email, right? And it'll take them to this page to set the account up. And then the, the okay. NHSA badge will be there already, right? Yep. They'll have okay. everything right there front and centered. So here's what we'll do. I think um, just to make sure everybody has a fresh email, I will, I will make sure everyone on this call gets an email to, to start your portfolio once we finish this um, meeting in case you missed the email when it came out. I think we sent it out in like November, something like that. It may, may be a while. Um, and just so you know, if we have an updated roster for your staff, everyone in your staff has received that same email. Because my feeling was, let's start everybody with the member badge. You, you're a member of NHSA. It's something you can share with others. I think it's great for you to encourage your staff to share that they're, that they're a member of a professional organization. It's a good thing to do. And then if you attended the parent conference, you should have a parent badge. If you attend WLI in January, you're going to get a certificate or a badge that says you were at that. Or if you finished any of my academy classes, you get digital badges for all of those. So this is a like a process that we need to kind of get over this first hump so people get used to this new way of doing things. It's like the change from that paper thing we talked about to the PDF that we emailed out. Um, we need to make that shift in thinking. And it's just going to take a team effort. Everyone on this call is clearly thinking. You're here. You showed up to something that we've never done before. So you all are the people I need to be talking to. Um, so that's what I'll do. I will, I will make sure everybody gets a fresh email and we'll go from there. Um, and then what you're saying, Tasha, is once they click on it, they set up their account, they're good to go. This is it. This is what's so easy, that right? Password. Yep. And then um, they would use this top part to, to, to link to their social. Is that what they do is put their social links in there, like LinkedIn and Twitter, whatever they use? Yep. They're able to create their profile here. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. I see a lots of emails in the chat. We will make sure you get that information. Um, does anybody have any questions at this time other than just really wanting to dig in and, and set it up, which will just require me to send an invite to you? Let's make sure. Awesome. So this is not going to take the full hour, which is absolutely fine. But I want to end with, can you um, stop uh sharing your screen? And Debbie, there was a question that came in the chat that just came directly to me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and it says, does the system allow you to upload and store certificates earned outside of your agency? Absolutely. I, I, I should have had mine pulled up and I didn't, so I'm not even going to bother because it'll distract me. But what I did with mine is, number one, I went to a conference last year. And because that conference does digital badge, badging, it automatically showed up in my portfolio. I was actually kind of surprised. I thought, who knew I went to that conference? And then I talked to Credible and they said, no, they're linked with us. So it automatically loaded, which is great. And then I went and I took my transcript from George Mason University, which is not a digital format. It's a paper. And I uploaded it and I put that PDF in my portfolio. Now that is considered an unverified or um, credential because it is just an uploaded PDF, but it does allow me to keep everything that I care about in one place, which I really love. Um, as digital badging becomes more common, these will be linked more readily. You saw the companies that Tasha shared with you, Moodle and um, other organizations that those will automatically be sent if you if you, if they have your email. It's all based on your email, um, and but you can physically put anything in your wall in your portfolio that you want to. So yes, the answer is definitely. And last one, we have a hand raised. Yeah. So uh, Sherman, do you want to go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question? Oh yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I'm a compliance coordinator for um, Head Start Sonoma County, and um, one I, I compile a lot of documents. Um, so uh, one task I have uh, would be, um, you know, all our employees did NHSA basics, and I was wondering how I could use your system it, to implement getting all their certificates and um, being able to document 
of the chain that all of all of our um, employees have completed NHSA basics? Like, how would that work? Such a beautiful question, sure. Because this is what we do, right? We solve one problem, and then someone says, "Ooh, that's great! Can you do this?" Because right now, the way it works is in order to verify that everybody did Head Start basics, those folks should they have to log into their account and get that started so that they have their portfolio and then all they have to do is share it with you and you can verify it but that means you're going into a bunch of different uh accounts to look at it now you can do that and you can do it pretty fast what the whole purpose behind bringing this to the next level and giving program sub accounts is to give you more access to your folks portfolios so that is the part I was talking about in the very beginning that is in the very beginning stages. I'm working through the process. There will be a very small fee associated with it just because we have to set up a new account and manage. It's like having your own account, but it will be far less expensive than doing this on your own. And it'll fit right into NHSA's overarching account so that you as the compliance officer will be probably that lead on this. You'll log in and there are all your people and you can very easily run reports and do all of that kind of stuff. And even if you're requiring them to do a training that is not NHSA, they just have to know you got to upload that. Um, maybe it is a PDF. It's a, something you did that that's how the person was giving the, the verification is a PDF. You instruct your staff, hey, by Friday, you have to upload this into your portfolio so I can verify it. And then you would go in and do that. That's, a, that's you know, more labor, but, but we're not all into the digital space yet. So you are still going to have some trainings where people have not gotten on the digital train. Like I said, I really think if we jump into this full force, Head, Head Start is the leading ECE um, group doing this. We are not seeing this really even in K-12 all the way yet. I love the idea of Head Start leading the charge. So that's, I'm a little selfish there. I want to see us like in the front, but it does mean that we're going to be doing it before everyone is doing it, which means you're going to kind of be a little bit hybrid. It's kind of like, you know, there was that time where you could upload a PDF, but there were some people still bringing you that paper because they were like, I don't know how to scan. I don't know what a scanner is. So you're, you still, anytime you're changing in technology, there's that transition where you're kind of got your in both sides and, and you're trying to work with it. But yes, the answer to your question is that sub right now you can do it. It's just a little bit, it's got to be given to you by the individual right now because you don't have access to your account. If we can get you to set up your own account, you'll now become an account manager at your Sonoma um, Head Start and just see your people. And that's what my next step on this is. Great question. Anybody else? Love the engagement, guys. Really, really love it. Super. So I'm going to go ahead and close out then. And I will get the, this recording to all of you. And I will get everybody an invite to make sure you have your portfolio. But then if we've got your roster, all of your staff should have one too. So get them to go in there and set their accounts up. You might need to walk them through it. And because of that, what I have, have scheduled on February 1st, we are going to come back to Zoom with Tasha, but we are inviting staff. So on February 1st, your staff can show up and we will literally walk them through grabbing their badges so that they can open their portfolio, see their NHSA membership badge and anything else they've done and try to handhold folks into this space. If your staff can't make that, um, that um, time for some reason, have them register anyway, because we will send that video to everybody who registers. So at least they'll have the training, even if they have to watch it at a different time. And you may want to do it as a group, because at first, getting people in this space will be very hard. Our staff are not all tech savvy. Some of them are nervous about it. So some of it's going to take a little bit of work um, for us. I also want to just end by saying this, and but I, I say this a little tongue in cheek, but sort of seriously too. When I brought this to the table, I had somebody say to me, you will never get Head Start people to do this. They don't think this way. They want to print a certificate. 
And you're just thinking way further ahead than Head Start is going to be able to do. And I will push back on that all day long. I think Head Start is capable of doing anything that we bring to the table that we support them to do. We can't just drop it and go. You've got to support. But now this is a personal quest because I am determined to prove this person wrong. Now, I will tell you, the first time we pushed out the email, 80% of the people went who, who logged in went and downloaded the PDF of their digital badge. So in some ways, this person's not completely wrong. We are still in PDF mindset, but it's up to you, the leadership, to help us shift that. And I think we can do it. And once we do, like, sky's the limit, guys. We can do so much with this together. I had somebody chat me privately here today and say, this is so exciting to see us at the front edge of technology. And she's absolutely right. If we work together as one Head Start, Early Head Start community on this, we can empower ourselves to do something that individually, it would be very cost prohibitive for us to be able to do. So that's my goal is for us to work together, push this forward, and our folks will start to feel like modern day professionals. And that's what I really want to see them doing on their Facebook pages, sharing their digital badge that they just got because they finished the CDA or whatever they're doing. I think we should be bragging all day long about all the good work we're doing. So um, thank you for coming and thank you for being so attentive. I really appreciate it. Look for a follow-up email with this recording. And then also I'll get everybody a new invite for the portfolio so you can log in. If you have any questions, my email's on our website. You're welcome to email me directly. I have no problem with that. Otherwise, have a great day. Good to see you.